Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 42nd park part in this particular series and what we have going on here is that we have to determine the area of the green region shown inside of this quarter circle here. We are told <clears throat> that P, Q, R, S, and B, O are all parallel. So that means everything's 90 degrees here with A, O. And we are also told and shown that the arc from A, P to P, R and to R, B are all equal in length. And our overall radius for the circle, <clears throat> which is A to O and B, O, is 12 centimeters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide this thing up into different parts. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw from my points of PR down to O, forming some triangles and circle sectors here. All right. <clears throat> so looking at what I have here, I have some angles forming here. And knowing that this is a quarter circle and knowing that these arc lengths out here are exactly the same lengths, meaning that I have separated this thing into three equal circle sectors here with three equal degrees around O. Well, since O is a total of 90 degrees, since it is a quarter circle, that means that each one of these is going to be exactly 30 degrees here. Alrighty, so how do I get my green area? Well, my green area will be this. My green area will be the area, well, it will be my area of triangle OQP, which is this bottom right triangle here of OP to Q. And then I'm going to add that triangle with the area of my sector. Oh, sector has one C. Sector POR which is going to be this middle portion right here. So this sector right here. So when I do this, I get this entire triangle down here. I get this entire sector up here. Well, in order to get what's in green, I need to subtract out this white portion right here, which I'm kind of squiggling in blue. I need to subtract that portion out from my two triangles to get what's in green. So, Let's subtract out the area of that right triangle, which is OSR. And that's what I would get in green. So let's start working on this. So it's not terrible because we do have right triangles for me here, and we already have these angles known here. So from my first triangle, which is OQ to P, I just need some distances here. I need P to Q and I need Q to O to do my one half base times height. And since it does form a right triangle down here, what I'm going to have to do is just use the sine and cosine of this angle along with P to O, which P to O is my radius, which is 12 centimeters. So basically what I'm going to have here is I'm going to have my OQ, which is my bottom portion, will be equal to my radius of 12 centimeters times the cosine of 30 degrees, which gives me six square roots of three centimeters. And then looking for my PQ here, utilizing the right triangle once again with that angle, I would have 12 centimeters, this time sine of 30 degrees, which gives me six centimeters. So my overall area for triangle OQ to P will just be one half times my base of six square roots of three times my height of six centimeters. And that gives me 18 square roots of three centimeters squared. So. That's our first area done. Well, the second area, which is the area of the circle sector POR, is just as easy. <clears throat> we don't have to determine really any sides here. We're just going to take the area of the circle sector utilizing the 30 degree angle in here. So my sector POR area will just be that 30 degrees over the total of a circle, which is 360, so that gives us our portion there, our sector, and that'd be just ta our pi times my radius squared. So we would have 30 degrees over 360 degrees pi times r, which is 12 centimeters squared, and this gives me <clears throat> exactly 12 pi centimeters squared. 
All right, so there's our second one done. And then lastly, I just need the area of this triangle shown in white from R, S, and O here. And well, now I'm going to utilize my overall angle for that right triangle, which is right here, which is now 60 degrees. And the same way that I got the uh, information for OQP, my first right triangle, I'm gonna do exactly the same for ROS here, utilizing 60 degrees instead of 30 degrees. And you'll actually see something interesting happen here. So from my white triangle, which is OSR that I have to subtract out, my SO dimension, which would be my horizontal dimension, would be equal to the 12 centimeters cosine of 60 degrees now, which gives me six centimeters. And then my height, which is RS, would give, or would be 12 centimeters sine of 60 degrees, which gives me six square roots of three centimeters. So basically, since we have uh, certain distances here and we have equal arc lengths here of 30 degrees, Basically, Q to O is now R to S, and P to Q is now S to O. They've flipped. So now I have that area, or I have the dimensions, and then I can get my area here of OSR, which is just going to be 1 half 6 centimeters times 6 square roots of 3 centimeters, and that gives me 18 square roots of three centimeters square, which is exactly the same area as the previous triangle. You just had your height and base flipped here. So <clears throat> now that we have everything we need, we can go ahead and determine our area in green, which basically is going to be our sector, P-R-O, but we'll just write everything out here so you can see it. So our first area was the 18 square roots of three, and we're going to add that with our sector area of 12 pi centimeters squared. And then we're going to subtract out the second triangle, which is 18 square roots of three. So as I said, basically you are left with your circle sector here. So my area in green is pi or 12 pi centimeters squared, which if you want to approximate it is 37.7 centimeters squared. And that's how you would find the area in green for that particular problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a new math skill along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.